Hi there! We're going to close this section by visualizing how our Kedro pipeline looks like using Kedrobis. In the previous videos, we defined our pipeline by assembling a series of nodes, including what inputs and outputs these nodes have, and then we saw that we can execute that pipeline and everything was running smoothly. Now, it's a little bit abstract to look at the code, especially when we have bigger pipelines. So how can we easily see how this pipeline looks like? Well, for that, I'm going to use a Kedro plugin called KedroVis that is going to offer a visual and friendly interface for me to understand how my pipeline is assembled and how the different inputs and outputs are related. As you can see here, I did a quick pip install KedroVis and I'm going to launch it straight away. So let me do KedroVis on the terminal and after a few seconds, this is going to start a web application that is going to run locally on my computer that is going to show all this information that I was talking about. Now, as you can see, if I refresh the page, you see there are two different nodes here that take some inputs and produce some outputs. On the top, there are my shuttle's pipeline on one hand and then my company's pipeline on the other hand. You see this metadata panel on the right? This contains things like what is the dataset type, what's the file path, and so on. Then, these rectangular boxes here are the nodes. So if I click on this one, you can see that this takes the shuttles as the input and it produces the pre-processed shuttles as output. I can go even further and show what's the code for this node. This is very handy in case I want to quickly see what kind of preprocessing is happening here. And then finally, I can click on any of the output datasets. And again, I'm going to see that this has a type of parquet dataset and that the file path is under 02 intermediate preprocessed shuttles.pq. There's a couple more things that I can do. For example, if I want to not show the nodes and only the dataset, I can filter that in this lower left area here, or I can do the opposite. I can show only the datasets. And if I had any parameter files that at the moment I don't, I could filter those out as well. Kedrovis has other interesting functionalities. For example, it can perform experiment tracking and it can do a number of other things that are very useful for big pipelines but that will be in some other video. With this, we can see visually in a very easy way how my different nodes and inputs and outputs are arranged, and this will help me understand what is happening in my projects. And with this, we conclude this uh, first deep dive into Kedro. In the next section of the course, we're going to see some more advanced features. We're going to continue expanding our pipelines so that they do more complicated things and the period is going to get really really interesting. So tune for the next video in a moment.